don't need that. Thermal blade, maybe in case of emergency. I'm gonna be needing a lot of these. <laughs> uh, food, water, batteries, sea glide. Laser cutter, we'll be needing that. Okay, I think I'm good to go. So what we're gonna be doing for this session, uh, even though I said I wasn't gonna do it until I discovered all the leviathans in the game, fuck it, I wanna play the game. Uh, we're going to be going to all of the predators in the game, and we're going to do our very best to scan them. And that includes the two leviathans that I have not yet scanned in this save, which are the reaper leviathan and the ghost. I've been holding off doing this until I got the stasis rifle, which is going to help tremendously. <sighs> I'm scared. <laughs> I have scanned the reaper before. Once long time ago. Never scanned the ghost. In fact, I'm pretty sure the only leviathans I've managed to scan in this game are the reefbacks and the sea triders, which are both leviathan class organisms, and the reaper. All the other uh, leviathan predators, never scanned them. And that includes the sea dragon, uh, which I have contended with but have not scanned, uh, and the ghost, obviously, because I literally have not contended with the ghost until now. Let me just go ahead and, uh, Stock up here. Munchy, munchy, munchy. Uh, I think our first order of business is going to be to go scan the Reaper because that's the one that's closest to us. As well as the other predators, including the lion sharks, which always like to hang out around here somewhere. So you know what? Maybe we'll putter around and see if we can find one of them. Scan them. Do that. Let's see. What other predators have Welcome I scanned in this game? Captain. I've scanned a Mesmer. I've scanned a Stalker. Uh, what else have I scanned in terms of, like, predator class things? I think that's it, honestly. <laughs> I've been trying to keep my distance from predators. Aha! There's one. Okay, I will scan him. And let me just test out my stasis rifle right now. Stop looking at it! Alright, here we go. Boosh, bitch! Okay, it should be stuck in the bubble. And now I can maybe scan it, even though it doesn't look very frozen to me, but whatever, I'll scan it. Nailed it! Okay, scan the sand shark. That bubble's a lot bigger than I remember it being. Okay, we're gonna read up on the sand shark right now. Uh, uh, fauna, carnivores, sand shark. Yep, mesmer and stalker are literally the only predators I've scanned in this game. Medium-sized predator that burrows into the sand and ambushes its prey from below. As with many predators, it may be possible to temporarily distract sand sharks by feeding any hungry specimens that draw close. Oh, you can do that with sand sharks, too. Cool. The unusual location of this fin suggests a purpose unrelated to movement through the water. It may be employed in shifting sand beneath the surface, or in mating rituals, or may simply be an evolutionary dead end. Like the tailbone in humans. <laughs> Thick armor plating renders the sand shark almost immune to attack from above. While it is capable of impressive acceleration, its exoskeleton prevents it from changing directions quickly. The sand shark is thus a perfectly designed ambush hunter, but ill suited to sustain pursuits. Well, that's good, I guess. Ill designed for ambulation. Oh, it's feet. Okay. Likely used to dis disturb the surface of the sand so the life form can burrow into the ground. Assessment avoid. Be vigilant for ambush and sandy biomes. I mean, it's not that hard. Can we see its fin above the sand? Because I know that's a thing that it can do. I wasn't paying attention to where it went, though. So, all right. We're going to head back over to the Aurora, assuming I am going in the right direction. It's southeast from my base, isn't it? So it would be this way. Boop. Nailed it. Okay. Now, the question is, do I go to the front of the Aurora or do I go around the back? Because when we went around the back last time, it sucked. Maybe we'll go around the front. Okay. I'm also gonna lose my damn sea moth. Hi, Reefback. I already scanned you, Mr. Leviathan class predator. Not predator, but whatever. Also, it's very, very cloudy today. We're expecting rain, so the whole, like, webcam adjusting the lighting <laughs> may fluctuate more frequently than usual. So, yeah. Sorry about that, but it happens on cloudy days. If I die, who the hell cares? I don't want to lose a sea moth. I've never lost a sea moth in this game. Really? Are you really gonna do this? Go away! I zapped you! Fuck off! Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna leave my sea moth right here on the shelf. And I'm gonna go out there. 
myself. Okay, so each firing with the rifle takes about 3% power. What the fuck are you- That's right, go for that. Oh, but I have my swim charge fin, so I'm charging it as I swim. That's actually super helpful. Okay. Where is it? <laughs> it wouldn't be back there. It would be out here. Oh, this is so bad. I also just realized oxygen is kind of a problem, so I'm gonna move this a little closer. I mean, I have 225 seconds of oxygen in here, but you know what? <laughs> listen for it. Shut up, shuttle bug. Hmm? Hmm. I'm gonna stay here on this shelf here till I see it. Oh, oh okay, there it is. I'm gonna save my game right now. <laughs> oh god, I can't hold it indefinitely? Well, that's a shame. Okay, uh, fuck. Excuse me, Mr. Reaper, sir. Oh. Fucking hell. Okay. 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 Where's it gonna- Oh god. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Why am I- no, not you! I don't need you right now! I'm contending with something much bigger! Fuck off! You- I hate you. Go away. Thank you. Damn it! It was coming towards me! Stalker's trying to save my life. I have a- I have a- I have a, a pet stalker, because I have a backup save in my freedom. I, I'm playing freedom in a- in a second save, which is gonna be the one, uh, which was actually- it was just something that I've been doing for fun because I wanted to play the game. Uh, but I'm not playing ahead to where I am right now, so don't worry about that. Oh my god. And, uh, I have a pet stalker named Dentist, and I love him. That did not hit him. Oh god, it did not hit him! Ah! Okay, hold on. We got this, we got this. It's very angry! I'm scanning it! Oh god, I'm scanning it! Please, please last longer, please last longer, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die! I got it, I got it, I got it! Oh god, run! Run away! Swim away! Oh my god, it just ran out! It just ran out! Oh my god, get back to the same moth! Get back to that same moth right now! Ah! And everything went better than expected. Okay, I'm gonna stay over here, and I'm gonna read about the Reaper Leviathan. Uh, here it is. Reaper. There it is! Oh my god, I can't believe I did that my first try. <laughs> Leviathan-class species are vast organisms at the top of their respective food chains. This species is a streamlined hunter with highly developed senses. Yeah, this is, I think, probably the most aggressive Leviathan in the whole game. Like, it comes after you, and it's terrifying. This leviathan is capable of locking prey in place with four powerful mandibles and drawing it within reach of its jaws. Simulated pressure exceeds sea moth crush resistance. Yes, it will destroy your sea moth. The deep roar emitted by the reaper at regular intervals is effectively sonar. If you can hear it, the reaper can see you. Oh, good. Because, like, most of the time, you'll hear a reaper before you even see it. So by the time you hear a roar and no one's nearby, it already knows you're there. That's swell. Thanks for that. Scanned specimen measured 55 meters long. Oh, nighttime. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna move a little further away. <laughs> no reason. Keep reading. Observed circling its prey and attacking from behind. Is that what it was trying to do to me? This creature is almost all muscle. Very little brain, no sense of morality, just muscle, synapses, and teeth. Motivational note, congratulations on getting close enough to scan it and living to see the results. Assessment, extreme threat, avoid in all circumstances. Thanks for that, except for scanning it. <laughs> I've been well aware of that. Okay, so we scanned the Reaper. Gonna save before I lose that eventually. Okay. Oh my god. It's like, even though you have a means of defending yourself, what, with the stasis rifle or the, the arms of the prawn suit? 
This game is still terrifying. Okay, so I think... What are some other predators? We gotta scan the ampule. Uh, which means we can go to the bulb zone for that. I think there's a bulb zone close by. If we just keep going this way. And then, of course, the, uh, I think they're called the bone sharks? And then down on the Lost River, there's those, like, skeleton fish. And the ghost leviathan. <laughs> I'm just gonna go to as many biomes as I can and just scan all the predators. And then once we get down to the deeper biomes, the, the biomes several hundred meters below the Lost River, uh, we'll get back to scanning even more life forms, which we have not experienced yet. Okay, so here we are in the bulb zone. Hello! You jerk off. Come here, I want to scan you! Oh god, I can't even see it. I really scared it away, didn't I? Hey, Jelly Ray. Where'd it go? Is it gonna come back? What? I heard something! I don't see it, though! Oh, hello. Ah, gotcha. Okay, scanning. Oh, you're the- yeah, okay, Bone Shark. That's your name. I've been thinking this whole time I had it wrong. Gotcha! Alright. We're gonna read about the Bone Shark. Welcome aboard, Captain. A large and powerful predator that lives in small groups. It's more like large groups, let's be honest. And fiercely defends its hunting grounds. Again, one of the most aggressive predators in the whole game. Suggests defensive adaptation either to larger predators or in-species aggression. Marks similar similarity to the segmented exoskeleton of the sand shark. Fuck off! Suggesting a relatively recent common ancestor. Relatively recent. Between the sand shark and the bone shark? Interesting. Large eyeballs, consistent with high light sensitivity, likely for hunting of luminescent prey in low light environments. Generally slow, it's not slow, and unresponsive as a means of energy conservation, they will act with uncompromising speed and aggression against any threat to their territory, avoid, may be distracted by light sources. How about that light source? I really don't like these guys. Wait, that's not the repair tool, Pfft, idiot. Ah, there's one. Excuse me, Mr. Amp Eel, sir. Oh, I think I missed. Shit. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, scan the Amp Eel. Take you guys out. Yeah, you, your faces are creepy and I don't like you. Okay, got that. Another one down. Amp Eel. See how easy, how easy the stasis rifle makes this? A powerful and inquisitive predator found inhabiting the deeper waters of the reefs and bullbush colonies. Electrical prongs, oh god. Oh, fucking. Are you done? Are you done? Thank you. Ow! What's my power at? I mean, really, I'm at 78 already. I got hit by two things and I'm at 78. Electrical prongs. Torso-mounted prongs generate a powerful electrical current, which the amp eel uses to incapacitate its prey. This thing really reminds me of, is it Colossus number six in uh, Shadow of the Colossus? The, the, the underwater one? This guy always really reminded me of that one. What's that one's name? Is it just Hydra? Maybe? I'm not sure. A large, flexible jaw studded with sharp teeth. Ouch. If a faster, stronger, and hungrier predator lives on the reefs, it appears to avoid the ampial. Oh god. Avoid or incapacitate? How do you incapacitate? Care to elaborate more on that? Oh god, that was something else I was gonna do. I was gonna gather up a bunch of floaters, and then freeze a, a reaper leviathan in place and attach it to the reaper to see if I can force it to the surface like that one thing said. I literally can't think of any other- I mean, besides the ghost, obviously, and the thing down in the Lost River. I can't think of any other predators in biomes that we've been to already. Whoa! Jesus, mother of God! Did we read about the stalker, too, by the way? I know, I scanned it, I don't think I read about it. A streamlined predator encountered in the kelp forests in weight of prey, leaving the safety of the shallows to feed. 
The stalker likely carved out of its evolutionary niche at the sweet spot between speed and size millions of years ago and may be one of the oldest species on the planet. That's cool. The stalker appears to be attracted to titanium deposits, which tends to sharpen and put stress on its teeth. As with many predators, it may be possible to temporarily distract hungry stalkers by feeding them. The stalker's teeth are unusually hard and fast-growing. Its elongated snout can deliver huge biting pressure to larger attackers, while also being used to reach small herbivores seeking refuge amongst the rocks. Night vision. Retinal layering on the eyeball suggests adaptation for nighttime hunting. Creepy. These ridges can be moved independently to deliver superior maneuverability. Pelvic fins long and powerful. The stalker has evolved to hunt the fastest of prey. Stalker teeth may have applications in enameled glass fabrication. Yes, well, I knew that already. Thank you. Let's find ourselves a gasopod. I don't know what you're doing out here. You must be lost. Okay, here's a gasopod. Now I'm gonna try not to get radioactive poisoning. Excuse me, Mr. Gasopod, sir. Please don't radioactively poison me. I know you look very upset. Just give me a second. Gotcha. Okay, please don't eat me. Oh, God. You and your weird gas mask looking face. Slow moving life form, and one of the larger herbivores on the planet. Providing a substantial meal to would be predators, the gasopod protects its domain by filling the surrounding water with poisonous and corrosive pods whose contents dissolve even synthetic fibers. Thank you. I'm just over here minding my own business. Oh, God, I can't read that. Thick, non-reactive skin and multiple gill layers render this creature impervious to the noxious acid clouds it produces. Well, damn it. I gotta freaking drink something. Vital signs. Stabilizing. Probably eat something as well. A bulbous sac-like appendage on the rear end, a luminescent yellow algae grows inside the sac and produces the poisonous compound. Abdominal muscles can contract, causing the algae gland to emit the noxious compound into the surrounding water. Capable of powerful movement through the water when moving in small herds. I've never seen that in my life, but okay. Appear to be social in nature and may even use their emissions in their relationship rituals. Their audible calls are likely signifiers of nearby threats or food sources. Approach with caution. Acidic pods may be retrieved and repurposed? What? I'm gonna die doing this. Oh my god, I can. Don't get poisoned by them though. Repurposed how? Welcome aboard, Captain. I got a thing. Maybe repurposed. Thank you for elaborating. Whatever, I have one now. Okay, now we're gonna go into a cave somewhere in the shallows and try and find a crash fish. Whoops! Excuse me, Mr. Stalker, sir. I actually did not mean to do that. I think they are exclusively in safe, shallow caves. Good lord, that sand shark is mad. Dang it, thought I saw original. Did I see original? I did see original. I'm not crazy. That's one. Gotcha! Ooh, just in time. Oh god, there's more! Alright, scan the crash fish. I really don't think I'm gonna need crash powder for anything, but I'm here, so I'll take it. Take them both, why not? Alright, back to the sea moth. Let's read about the crash fish. This unusual species has developed an emergency defense mechanism based on mutually assured destruction. Forward mounted eye enables the creature to identify and track potential predators. The sulfur plant has evolved to feed on sulfuric compounds secreted by the crash fish, which makes its nest within its leaves. Stronger, more protective plants provide superior nesting grounds, which in turn provide the plant with more nutrients from larger crash fish. Concentrations of sulfur build up in the organism over time. If the crash fish collides with something at sufficient speed, the spikes on its torso are impacted, triggering an explosive chemical reaction. Assessment, equip stasis rifle, repulsion cannon, or similar before approaching shallow caves. Well, thank you! That's how I got to get it in the first place. Oh, look, floaters. Maybe I should grab those while I'm here. This is gonna be my death, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Sorry, everybody. I'll put you in your new home with the Reaper Leviathan eventually. Until then, you can hang out in my backpack or whatever. This is gonna be a really bad idea. <laughs> 
god, this is gonna suck. Okay, but I'm gonna- Oh god, fuck off! I'm trying to do something! Asshole! Grab as many as I can until my inventory is full. I'm gonna use my stasis rifle again to freeze the Reaper Leviathan, and then I'm going to do my very bestest to put as many floaters as I possibly can onto the Reaper and see if I can get it to float to the surface. I don't know if that's possible, but we're gonna try and do it anyway. A little close to the back. I'm gonna go this way. You know what? You know what? I just I just realized it's nighttime and I kinda oh fuck. Okay. You just scared the shit out of me. Okay, I'm gonna put my sea moth right about about 50 feet back. About 50 feet back. I don't know why I'm doing this at night. This this was a horrible this was a horrible decision. Go away. Oh god, there it is. I see it. I see it in the darkness. Come get me, you jerk. If I hit it, I'll be shocked. Okay, it has a certain distance. I can't see anything. <laughs> you know what? This might be easier if I turn the headlights off. Because it's kind of obstructing my vision right now. Where is my Zima? Um, okay, here it is. It's right here. <laughs> Where are you, buddy? Oh, the glare from the white sky outside is not helping. <laughs> oh god, wait, is that it? I can't see. Ah! <laughs> Well, I've officially died in Subnautica. That was bound to happen eventually. I didn't see it, it was too dark. Plus there's a glare, my window is literally right here. Excuses, excuses. Great, now my sea moth is stuck in Reaper Leviathan territory. Well, the sun's coming up, so that's good, I guess. God damn it, that was the scariest thing in the world. I didn't see it, and all of a sudden I saw a shadow on the sand right in front of me. I looked up, and it was right there. I, I, I was, it was too late. Nothing I can do. Alright, we're gonna try this again. If he had killed me and I would lost all those floaters, I would have been really upset. What the fuck is this? Oh, Sky Ray! Hello. Okay, back down. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna back my sea moth up even more just because. Wait, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, I'm gonna put the floater back. Oh, fucking hell. Floater, I don't care. Floater, I don't care. Go away! Okay, I don't see it. I'm gonna put my sea moth right here. Let's try this again! <laughs> eh, maybe save first. Oh, where the fuck is it? Oh god, where the fuck is it? I haven't seen it in a long time, I'm scared. Oh god, it's right there! I saw you. Hey there, big buddy! Are you ready to die? Am I? No? I backed myself into a sandbank? Okay. Come on, hurry up and come towards me! Am I backing up too far and he just keeps losing interest? Probably. What can I say? I'm terrified! Where are you going? Where do you think I am? You- what, what did it say? I'm all- you're literally all brawn, no brain, according to the BDA, which doesn't surprise me. Considering your behavior. Okay, come on. Just come and get me. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh god. <sighs> Buddy! You're really making my life difficult right now. I'm just waiting for my imminent demise. 
Oh god, I didn't miss, did I? I missed! I missed! Shit. Come on, buddy. I kind of want to equip my sea glide, actually. And I just realized this might be a very big mistake. Uh, to open my inventory. Right now. Why the, the sound just disappeared? Okay. <laughs> Don't miss, you idiot! Oh god! Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. Pardon me, sir, pardon me, sir, pardon me, sir. It's not working! It's not working! Abort! 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 It's not working! Mission failure! Abort! Abort! Oh god! Okay, it didn't work. You know what? I tried it. I didn't puss out. I tried it. It didn't work. It didn't work. This game lied to me! <laughs> now we're gonna go back home. It did not work. Those floaters died the second I tried to put them on there. It did not work. Okay, well, I'm just gonna find a rock to put these little floaters on so I can put them back home because I feel bad. Put you here. And here. There! Floaters are back home. Now I need to go into the grand fucking reef. Okay, hold on. I want thermal blade, I want repair tool, and I need scanner. Okay. Now we need to go to the Lost River and scan some more predators. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Ow. Oh, the crab snakes! I knew I was missing a predator! Where's that cave? Uh, I think it's back somewhere. Okay, wait. Ozzy's life pod is 17, right? Did I take a- did I take a screen? <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh god, that- oh, holy shit. I didn't take that, did I? Did I just mash clicking in the right stick? I probably did. <laughs> I think I just mashed the right stick so many times because I was scared. I think I think I took the scariest screenshot in the entirety of this game. I kind of want to go back to my base and put that in, but I'll do that at the end. Time to scan us some crab snakes. Because I totally forgot about the crab snakes. Oh, God. And again, I like I feel like <sighs> Oh wait, there's one. Okay, I have enough oxygen. I can just do a thing, huh? <laughs> okay. Excuse me, Mr. Crab Snake, sir. <laughs> Jesus almighty, oh fucking lord. That did not go as expected, but it worked anyway. Oh god, go away! All right, crab snake. Cool. Nope. There it is. This life form appears to live in symbiosis with the local flora. All encountered specimens have been located within 50 meters of jelly shroom flora. That doesn't surprise me considering the jelly shroom flora are literally everywhere, frequently within the plants themselves. The crab snake has two spares to I cannot fucking talk. The crab snake has two pairs of fangs and one larger claw on either side. It plunges these claws into its prey, locking them in place while the inner jaw tears through the flesh. Okay, so they're like going full-on alien. Awesome! The jelly shrimps provide a, the perfect layer from which to ambush their prey and protect their young. The presence of crab snakes likely deters herbivores from feeding on the jelly shroom itself, thus ensuring the relationship continues. The crab snakes display territorial behavior when threatened, patrolling the cave systems in which they reside. Assessment avoid. Okay. So you have two pairs of fangs. That's disturbing. Okay, I think that's the only predator down in the jelly shrimp caves, unless I'm wrong, but I'm not gonna go looking. I love that music. Okay, I know that crab squid hang out at the entrance to the Lost River, so it should be easy enough to locate one. It's gonna be really hard to scan one, however. Ugh. Because they do that EMP thing, which is gonna deact. That's a warper. Where are you, you piece of. Oh god. Hey, you. How about you go fuck yourself? How about that? 
That's right, go away. Okay. Locating crab squid. Scanning. 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 How come I haven't seen one yet? This is odd. This is unusual. At the very least, I would have heard one by now. I always have to dodge crab squids on my way out of here. Well, I guess I'm just gonna leave. I can always catch a crab squid on the way out, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna find one of these skeleton fish things. There you are. You're far enough away from the ghost leviathan, but you also have a friend, which is kind of a shame. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna use stage rifle. I was gonna try and be brave and not use it. That was right in the face! How do you feel about that, you jerk? Oh, this is gonna take a while. You're scary. Okay, please don't die off. Please, 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 thank you. Going back. <sighs> River Prowler. That's a cool name. Ugh. There we go. Have that equipped just in case. Uh, let's see. A fast, agile predator discovered at great depths. Powerful jaws used for both savaging prey and warding off larger predators. Okay, I <laughs> like the ghost leviathan, probably. Its eel like torso is highly vulnerable, consisting predominantly of spinal column and cartilage. It shows significant overlap with other eel like predators on 4546B. It will aggressively keep its jaws facing its opponent, but smaller, faster life forms may have the advantage. Assessment avoid. Alright, well that's not as interesting as I was expecting, but still cool. We're gonna go try and scan the ghost leviathan. <laughs> Wherever it is. Where did you go, buddy? Um. Can you... Can you load in? I know it's- Yeah, ow! It burns. Okay, volcano there. Noted. Okay, you're up there. Hello, Mr. Ghost Leviathan! You are beyond terrifying. I can't believe I'm this close to you. Oh god, that was- I, I hit that button on accident. I was scared. I was scared! I'm still very much scared! Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Scan it, scan it, scan it, scan it. Juvenile? What? This is a juvenile? This is a baby? Are you kidding me? Oh god, that didn't last long enough! Ah! Alright, come on, let's try it again. Try it again. Come on, buddy. Please hit it. Please hit it. You didn't hit it. Okay, that's fine. This is a baby? Are you kidding me? Where- it, it, That worries me greatly, because you know what? Usually babies don't stray very far from the adults, which is not great. Please let me scan you. Please let me scan you. Your face is terrifying. Please. Finish scanning, finish scanning, run the fuck away right now! It's a baby! Does that mean the ones in the craters are the adults? Probably. Do I have to scan two of them? Well, I gotta go to the Grand Reef to find a crab squid anyway. Oh fucking fucking hell! Oh my god, that scared me so bad! <laughs> that scared me more than the ghost did! The fuck is wrong with me? Okay, I'm sorry for blowing out everybody's eardrums. If you were wearing headphones, I sincerely apologize, and I will be at your funeral. Um, fuck. Oh god, my throat hurts so bad. That really scared me. Where are you? Leviathans, ghost juvenile. This large predator has adapted to live in deep waters and dark cave systems, attacking anything and everything in its quest to grow larger. Awesome! Softer outer membrane and elongated body enable superior navigation of tight cave environments, display some similarities to other eel-like predators in the area. However, the ghost leviathan has covered over the electrical prongs on its inner torso with a taut, transparent membrane which delivers superior maneuverability. Electrical prongs on its inner torso? That's creepy. In its juvenile state, this leviathan feeds on larger herbivores and unfortunate members of its own species? 
it feeds on other leviathans or just other ghost leviathans because that's kind of fucked up cannibalism really they display a remarkable rate of growth which shows no signs of stopping suggesting that they must abandon their hatching grounds before they grow too large and make for more open waters so there's no limit to how big these things can get awesome I'm gonna go back to the Grand Reef. <laughs> I'm gonna find a crab squid. I'm gonna scan the crab squid. And then I'm gonna go back down into the crater. And I'm gonna scan what I'm assuming is a much bigger one. And if I can't scan it again, boy, is my life gonna suck. <laughs> but we gotta do it. We gotta see if I can scan a big one. Come here, I must scan you. Ah, uh, freaking warper. Okay, hold on. Oh god, it's gonna bite me! Ow! No, stop that! I'm busy doing something. Okay, you're really hard to scan, apparently. Gotcha! You are infected! What the fuck is with the music? What is with the music? What just happened with the music? Why is there music? Um, um, what? Guys? What is with the music? Is, it, is something gonna happen? You know what? I'm not gonna stick around to find out. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Okay, I think it's just part of the soundtrack, but good lord, that was about the worst time you could have kicked in with that stupid bass drop or whatever that was. Back out here. I have never heard this music before. What is that? I don't like this. Switch to something else. Please and thank you. Wait, where am I going? Uh, where's the Grand Reef? It's gotta be... That's still the Blood Kelp. I think I'm in the Sparse Reef. God, that fucking music. That really scared me. I don't- I've never heard that music before. That was the worst! Hey, Jelly Ray. Ah, I knew I'd find you by the Degasi base, you jerk. Okay. Get it! Save first. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll come and get it. <laughs> Excuse me, the- The plus side to these guys is that they don't move very fast. I must scan you, sir. This is totally gonna wear off. Nope, we're good. Alright, I'm out. Bye! Shit. I think it might be coming for me. Nope. Wow, it only just wore off, seriously. Okay, well, I'm gonna try and find a place where there aren't warpers, because I literally just saw one make the stupid teleport thing. I think I'm okay. This large predator can be found in deep waters where it lurks amongst the blood kelp and membrane trees in search of prey. It can deploy a powerful electromagnetic pulse to defend itself. Yes, it can, and it sucks. Ten limbs feature different appendages for swimming, walking, hunting, and possibly even tool use. That's interesting. Creatures caught in its grasp are expertly butchered and quickly consumed. Expertly butchered. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. Rays and other illuminated herbivores are its usual prey, and it will approach and attack any light source in the vicinity. Interesting. Its EMP blast was likely developed as a response to pred predation by creatures with electrical hunting mechanisms, like the ampule. While crab squids appear to have large brains and a resemblance to the intelligent squids of Earth, the organ inside the creature's head is in fact its stomach, which it must fill with startling regularity. Ew. Assessment neutralizes electrical equipment. Lights attract its unwanted attention. I didn't know that about its light. Okay, so if I'm going to be heading around in crab squid territory, shut your lights off. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay, now I'm going to find the way out of here. 
which I believe is right here, and I'm gonna locate the crater. <laughs> oh, fuck me. And I'm gonna see if we get any new information. Those are the sea triders. God, you're scaring me. I'm... Re... Fuck off. I am really debating. <gasps> oh, god damn it! God damn it! I have officially been warped! No! Fuck you! I zapped you! Go away! You wanna get zapped again? You wanna get zapped again? Okay, fine, I'll zap you again. Fuck off! No! Go away! Wow, this one is really aggressive. Oh my god! Stop! No! Oh jeez, it is chasing me right now. You! No! Stop it! Oh, I can't scan you. Alright, fine. Come here. I will scan you! Defend myself! Defend myself! Oh, God! There's two of you! Abort! There's three of you! Abort! 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 Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! There's three! Oh, God! There's three warpers chasing me! I don't know what to do with my life right now! No! Get away from my Seamoth! Okay. Flee! 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 Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Oh my god. What the fuck? There's three of them chasing me currently. I feel like I should probably heal myself. Ow! Teleportation hurts, apparently. Is this the crater? No, because there's- there's the anchor pods here. Okay, where's the crater? I just- oh god. I think I may have found it. I think I may have found it. Oh god, it is the crater. What am I gonna do? Okay, hold on. I need to... I need to reorganize things here. Um... Okay. I cannot believe I'm doing this. Oh god, it's here. It's here. Maybe if I can lure it out. Oh, oh god, there it is! Oh my god, it's so much bigger! That is definitely an adult! Oh my fucking god! Holy shit! That thing is, like, at least twice as big as the one down the Lost River. Oh god, I can't see. The headlights are actually not helping right now. Oh god, I... I do not want to do this. changes. Oh shit, fuck, shit, fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready! Oh my god, I'm not ready. I am not ready for this shit. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh my god, what the fuck am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Scan it! Freeze it! Scan it! Can I scan it? Can I scan it? Can I scan it? Can I scan it? Oh god, yeah, I can. I can. I can. I can. Hold on. That really hurt. Okay, hold on. I gotta take another one. Okay. Oh my god. Come on, you little motherfucker. And by that I mean big motherfucker. You are definitely a big motherfucker. Okay. Oh god, I have to get so close to it. Stay behind its face and you'll be fine. Maybe. I don't fucking know. Got it! Seamoth! Ascend! It's coming back for round three! It's coming back for round three! It's coming back for round three! <laughs> Go away! 
I can't see shit. I don't even know where I am anymore, guys. My whole screen is pitch dark. I can't see anything. Oh my god, it's still coming for me at this point. What the fuck? Ah! What are you doing up here at 122 meters? Go back in your hole, you dick. Go away. Oh no, I've lured it out of its hole. That was probably a mistake. Here we're just shaking a little bit. Just a little. Just a little. Minor tremors. <laughs> Nothing to worry about here. I scanned the adult ghost Leviathan. I am so far away from home right now. And I can't see anything but open water and I'm really scared. I'm gonna go to the surface. I need I need light. I need sunlight. Oh my god, guys, my hands are shaking so bad. My hands are shaking so bad. Alright, well that was I still have to scan the warper. I thought I didn't need to! Okay, the floating island is here. I'm gonna go underneath it, and then we'll read about the Ghost Leviathan. That was gonna be the grand finale, but... Pfft, what? I tried to scan the warper, and then two more showed up. What can I say? I had to leave. Okay. Okay, I did it. I scanned the juvenile and the adult Ghost Leviathan. I did it. Okay. This creature is approaching the size limit for sustainable organic life forms and has been designated Leviathan class. That one was a lot bigger than the one in the Lost River. I can't. I don't got no water. Maybe I'm gonna have to go back and do that before I go for the warper. Adults of the species have been encountered exclusively around the edges of the volcanic crater which supports life on this part of the planet and react with extreme aggression on approach. Unnoticed! Cartilaginous? Extensions of the creature's skull form a hammerhead which protects, protects the ghost leviathan as it performs devastating ramming attacks. Okay, awesome. Ugh, while fully capable of tearing through the flesh of any creature in range, all evidence indicates that mature ghost leviathans feed on microscopic life forms in the waters around the edges of inhabited zones. Interesting. Their vicious attacks on interlopers to their domain are not predatory in nature, but territorial. A creature so vast requires a huge expanse of water to satisfy its daily calorie requirements. Torso. Its muscled interior body is surrounded by a translucent outer membrane, suggesting adaptation for deep, low-light environments. When threatened, it can tense its entire body before lashing out with incredible speed. I've seen that. How it kind of, like, lunges. I've seen that before. Life cycle. Probable migratory behavior. What? The specimen was likely born far from the area where it was encountered. Extreme threat. Avoid the crater ridge. <laughs> That's like my third time I've gone down in one. Because I'm an idiot. Okay. Okay. So that one was large. Very large. I'm going to look for it. I'm going to go down here and try and coax out a warper and see if I can scan it before I freaking dehydrate to death. Maybe I should save my game first, right? <laughs> that was the most terrifying experience of my entire life. That was worse than scanning the reaper. <laughs> and we still have the sea dragon, and I'm assuming the sea emperor, to scan as well. Okay. Here's the Grand Reef. I'm gonna see if I can lure out a warper. One singular warper would be nice. That crater was huge. Dude. I... That's the sea dragon. I lost myself in there. It was so big, and I was just, like, so focused on the ghost, I didn't even- I wasn't even paying attention to, like, how far down I was, where the- I tried to- hmm? I tried to stay close to the wall, but by the time I was going out there scanning it, retreating, go going out there scanning, retreating, I completely lost track of where I was. I was literally just in an abyss of infinite darkness with a freaking adult ghost leviathan, and I was just like, ah! Seek fluid intake immediately. I know, I know. Maybe I should go to the bulb zone and drink some of that stuff. Oh, never mind. We have a contender! Nope! Oh, you shit fuck. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh shit, where'd it go? Where'd it go? It'll be back. Welcome aboard, Captain. You'll be back. He always comes back! Okay, here we go. Nope, oh, missed! Ah, oh, no, you fucker! How about that, huh? It doesn't- it's not good having weird blobs of energy thrown in your general direction, is it? How about you go fuck yourself? Scanned him! 
Two Seamoth. Oh god, where's the Seamoth? Where is my Seamoth? Where is my Seamoth? Oh god, it's chasing me. Where is my Seamoth? It's right there. Okay, it's right here. Uh... No! Please don't teleport me again! I'm going home. I'm going home. Tell the world I'm going home. Let the rain wash away all the pain of the Leviathan bites because they really hurt. Okay, hopefully I can make it home before I die. <laughs> Let's see. Wait! I am once again a fucking idiot. I forgot about this. I packed extra for this exact purpose. Drink it. Drink up. Drink up. Vital signs drink up. Stabilizing. I don't have any more food either, but that's fine. Okay, yep, I'm an idiot. I almost dehydrated with water in my frickin' Seamoth. Um, dumb. I keep forgetting about that. And also, this time it's not entirely my fault because it has been like two weeks since I played this game. So, yeah. Ah, uh, frame rate. Ah, there's a biter. I see one. Excuse me, Mr. Biter, sir. I must scan you before I drown. So if you could hold still for me, that would be... Oh, God, there's more of you. Okay, cool. I'm still at like 50% health. I just realized I didn't heal myself. This might have been a mistake. Oh, stop moving! I'm literally holding down right trigger and just moving the stick. There we go, got him! Got the biter! One more carnivore to end the list. Well, that was the most terrifying experience of my entire life! <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe I, I did it. Just... Just the comparison! I always thought that... I'm just gonna put my seam off in here so it charges. I always thought that... Yeah, that's cool. Um, I always figured the one that the ghost leviathan down in the Lost River looked smaller just because it was in comparison to that giant skull. Going into the Lost River and scanning the baby one first and then going down into the crater and seeing just how much bigger that one was. Oh my god. It, like, it didn't hit me until then just how big of a size difference it was. Mother of God. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, what was I gonna do? Right, I was gonna grab more water. And then I'm gonna go and put my new egg in here. As you see, some of them have hatched. That egg I thought was crab squid was totally crab squid, and now we have Jelly Ray. I took the cuttlefish egg out of alien containment so it could hatch when I was sure I was gonna be recording on camera. So the cuttlefish is not in here anymore. But the next session we start of like actually progressing through the game, hey, um, I'll put the, the cuttlefish egg back in. But see, I could have totally been a pussy and scanned the crab squid that I have in here, and I didn't do it, because I'm not a pussy. I mean, I'm, I am a total and complete pussy, let's be honest, but I, I was brave this time, and I decided that I was going to scan one out in the wild. So, yeah, we got a crab squid, a jelly ray, and a mesmer in here now, and eventually a cuttlefish, but that's not here yet. Vicious pack hunting predator, 94% muscle. 4% connected tissue, 2% brain. Indiscriminate when hungry, almost always hungry. Cool. <laughs> Specialized olfactory antenna. Employed in detection of bodily fluids in the water, impressive range. So like blood? It's like, is it like a shark? It's attracted to blood? I don't know. Secondary pair of eyes. Likely dedicated to detecting the peripheral movement of larger predators and hungry members of its own species. Overdeveloped tail fin. Favors outpacing and outnumbering their prey over individual maneuverability. Calculations suggest creatures up to a hundred times the biter's body weight would could succumb to a focused assault by a pack of ten. That's crazy. Assessment. Avoid packs. Try not to bleed. Well, that's a given. Okay. <laughs> Blighter. Shares close resemblance to the more common biter, but tends towards a more solitary, less aggressive hunting style. Olfactory stalk. That's the thing on its forehead. Okay. While the red-tipped protrusion on the blighter's head once served as sensory apparatus, it has adapted not to chase, but to coax its prey into its path. As prey creatures are attracted to the dancing of the stock, the blighter can dart forward to catch and consume them. So it's kind of like a little miniature anglerfish. That's cool. Teeth. One row of sharp, piercing teeth is all the blighter needs to tear through its prey. Ooh. This creature has found little use for eyes in the deep, dark caverns it inhabits, and its eyeballs are likely sensitive to nothing more than broad fluctuations in local light sources. Example, when a meal is crossing its path. Avoid or incapacitate. Okay. 
Cool. Is there any more that I forgot to read? Oh, the warper! Right, I scanned the warper and I didn't read it. An aggressive creature with the ability to teleport itself and others in space. No genetic crossover identified with indigenous life forms. Demonstrates no recognized defensive behavior. So it doesn't defend itself. It's all offense. That's cool. Mechanisms located in the head region provide its warping capability, which it uses to stalk its targets. Yeah, that one actually looks a little different than the mechanical one we found in the thing. It appears to hunt other life forms, but no digestive organs have been identified. Internal structure considerably more complex than other known organisms, unable to distinguish whether organic or artificial in nature. It's a machine. Further research required. I have the perfect picture for this. <laughs> I must have just spammed the right stick like a bunch of times while that thing was eating me because I was so scared. <laughs> and uh, I got a great picture. I got a great picture of the Reaper Leviathan. There it is. That's a good picture to go to sleep above my head to, right? I don't know if that made sense, but whatever. You get it. Oh. <sighs> My heart. <laughs> we still have at least three uh, more leviathans to scan because we have the sea dragon, we have the sea emperor, wherever the hell that is, and we also have uh, at least one new leviathan that's going to be released in the Arctic expansion of Subnautica called Below Zero, which I don't know when that's coming out at all. But when it does, you can bet your ass I'm going to be doing it completely blind and it's going to be the most terrifying experience of my life. <laughs> Maybe this will just be one big mega episode where I scan all the predators. That could be kind of cool. Maybe I'll do that, but I'll figure it out. So I hope you guys are enjoying Subnautica. I hope you guys enjoyed my absolute pan crapping fest going after the leviathans and scanning them. That adult ghost leviathan was easily the worst. <laughs> like and favorite if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more, and... I'll see you in the continuation of Subnautica, as well as, what else am I playing right now? Assassin's Creed Odyssey, uh, Resident Evil 2, the remake is probably out by the time you see this, uh, and I'm, I'm playing that too. Uh, I have plans to finally play God of War. I want to play God of War. Uh, and also Moss on PSVR, I want to play that too. Whatever you guys decide to watch on my channel, I'll see you guys in my next video. This webcam lighting is really something I gotta fix. Farewell, friends.